okay, Blaze 11. It's going to be Luke, and it will be Ken. I think Blaze should just change the number to his age and just keep just it that way. Blaze 13. Yeah, yeah, he should just be Blaze 13 <laughs> right now. So, yeah, no, honestly, though, uh, again, what we saw from him at 13 years young was absolutely amazing. And like you said, it's very capable of doing that, yep. but it's still hard for me because I still remember when I was, you know, trying to play video games at 13 years sure. old. You know, I, I don't think I was at this kind of level here. Well, I so. mean, I wasn't either, but I <laughs> I know people who have been. Yes. Mm -hmm, right. So mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. not it's still, a new thing, but it is very impressive. It's still nevertheless. impressive. Yeah, 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 for sure. But very me, of course. 28 years age right here going with that luke see what he can do against blazes ken this is a classic matchup here in this game here we've definitely seen this matchup quite a few times blaze as a reminder got sent down by team migraine the inquisitor and then had to make it through chino funky and atma and zane and then in the most recent round had to beat patelana and now he's got a chance to qualify for the top eight and can you imagine so that? good run yeah no for sure whereas for vermi he made it into the winner's side of this top 16 and then got sent down by Youngho. So pretty different trajectories to get here. Yeah, that match against Youngho too was like so close. Yeah. It was barely Youngho with that money. He's uh, clutching it out at the very, very end, yeah. I remember too. He could have been, Blaze could have been just going up against Youngho at this totally. point in time. So Totally. That's how it goes sometimes. This is a game of minute differences mm -hmm. oftentimes. Mm -hmm. And even if you see that the score sometimes is 2-0 or even if it's 2-1, right, whatever, it can be very close. Each individual <laughs> round can be very close. I, I swear at EVO this year, the top six that we had, even though it was only top six and not top eight, I felt like that was more matches that I saw go to the last round mm. than maybe any other top eight or six I've ever seen at EVO. It was a it was classic great, one dude. for sure. So good, man. Oh. And then, of course, I always said two of the most heartbreaking losses belonged to the same player, Kakeru. Losing against Angry uh, Bird and Tokido, but you know he kind of got his due a week later. So <laughs> <laughs> he did okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, I think he came out okay. He so, came out yeah. okay. Uh -huh. Here we go. Blaze eleven. Ken Verme CL Luke ready for the anti air. Oh, the shimmy! Not a huge punish on that though. So. Yeah, he didn't believe in it. But yeah. you know that said, we oftentimes saw him. Oh my god! Oh, that's so good. He's in there. The fact that the, his EX fireball, his OD fireball doesn't knock down is almost kind of better for him. There's no almost, dude. That is <laughs> uh, one of the best fireballs in the game, oh, for sure. Man. Okay, now here we go. Quarter position here for Vermi. Oh, he actually had a punish, but I don't think he expected that to be the punish right there. Didn't think it was going to hit, probably. Oh, yes. good reaction, good, and just, ah, that was a crouching strong, that wasn't even crouching the minion kick, it wasn't even catching Vermi standing up, and I didn't even see a counter hit there, it was just Vermi walked forward, I guess, into it. Hmm, here we go, corner, and he caught is cautious as well. Very interesting. And it really must be like a read on Blaze that he's somebody that you shouldn't be pressuring up close. We saw Patalana <laughs> do the same thing. That's true because uh, this is they're all. He's uh, Blaze has only fought against Chile players right now, right? So yeah, again, they might just all know each other and know that Blaze has a tendency to be kind of crazy or something. But we haven't seen that at all. I feel like Blaze well, plays. Well, the first time we saw him, he definitely had he had back dashes. He had the okay, wake up yeah, super. Fair, he had wake up TP. Fair, fair. <laughs> but in this match so far, not quite. He's ready there. All you need is the threat, though, right? The Madman theory has been successful in geopolitics, and why not here in Street Fighter 2? Yeah, well, unfortunately, Vermi burns himself out right now, so he's just trying to buy the time. But yeah, you go in there with the uh, Dragon Lash now and the Jinrai pressure when the opponent's burn. No, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what a two-hit combo. Somebody's got to sing the, oh, this is a chip. Or Blaze. Yeah, there was that one clip of Angry Bird doing that to Shao Hai, you know, throwing the fireball, the drive rushing across the screen, and it is so scary. You, neutral jumping over fireballs has never been more dangerous from across the screen than in this game. Oh no, big damage here potentially, well, you know, it's all right. Ooh, he set up a safe jump and then didn't go for the throw on the drive carry. Vermi. Oh no, the drop. 
And that was something that we saw previously for him. Him too. EX, he burns out in doing it. I mean, honestly, as a person who loves extra position, the success rate of those perfect slash knuckle combos is really impressive. That's hard. <laughs> oh. Just come straight downtown and go for the throw. Another throw. Another oh, come one. on. Oh no, punish counter throw, 2,000 damage. Okay, buttons on wake up this time, yeah. There you go. Oh, okay. make it count. Okay, a knockdown at least. Yeah, I'm not sure, uh, I mean, maybe Blaze was trying to go for DP, just missed it or something like that, got hit by the jump attack. Oh, Perry the first one got hit by the second one. The Blaze is really controlling things even from far away. His parry's here, right into the super. 50% scaling here. Yeah. That's as low as it can go. Right, there is a minimum scaling for super, and it's not going to kill. But it is going to burn out, and so this is just terrible. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Nice work by Blaze. Perfectly calculated to yep. the last hit. Blaze 11. 13 years young, going to advance forward into the top eight of CPT online. Ken has a lot of strengths, of course. I think an interesting one that he has over other DP characters is that his DP does a lot of chip on the drive mm -hmm. gauge mm -hmm. and then on the mm -hmm. life bar if that comes up. So there are punishes that work against other DPs because you have more drive gauge right, after yeah. blocking it. Mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. don't work versus Ken DP because you've <laughs> lost the drive bar for it. Right. I was laughing out some of those myself just a few days ago. <laughs> and I was like, I can't believe it works like this. But uh, shout outs to Blaze for really controlling the stage with his fireballs and with his movement. He had excellent offense. The mix-ups were there. And everybody seems afraid of his wake up, but he didn't need to make good on that threat in that set. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And here he is. He's now in the top eight, going to be playing tomorrow in the loser's bracket. And his opponent is the last match that we are going to have today that is going to determine who the eighth player is. You can see Moise going up against Shaka on the upper half of the top eight. Blaze 11 here going to be going up against the winner between Patada Veloz and Yure. And those are the last.